Hello and welcome. If you are a web developer, you once in a while come across this error of cross origin request blocked. And the reason given is calls header access control allow origin missing. This video is meant to explain a workaround for this particular problem that is faced by most JavaScript web developers. You can face this when you are using plain JavaScript for development, React, Vue.js, Angular, and any other framework that you like developing with. What we are going to do in this video, we are going to install two software and then get some free hosting space that we can use for developing platform that will help us overcome or bypass this error. So the Let's first thing by. we need to do is install Heroku CLI because we are going to use Heroku as our main hosting and we are going to use it for hosting a PHP file that is going to allow us to access external domains. So it's going to act like a workaround for this particular problem. So let's start by going to, you go to heroku.com. So when you go to heroku.com, then you go to documentation. Then you go down here, you'll find the Heroku CLI. So we download and install. It requires Git the popular version control system. If you don't already have Git installed, complete the following before installing the CLI. So first we install Git. So we are going to download the version for our Windows because we are using Windows. My window is 64 bits, so this should work for me. Let's give it a few seconds to download. The installation is complete, so I'm going to double click to open it. Next, leave the defaults as they are. Next, use if you have Visual Studio Code installed, you can use any of these. So it's going to detect what you use for for editing but this one is sticking visual studio code because it's what i have on my computer so we are not going to use git bash only we are also going to use the command line for our windows so you choose the line at that option i'm going to show you what i mean by that use ssl open cell leave that as default even that one leave it as it is file catching, potential manager, all those, give them as they are. Then you install. Give it some time to install. It's going to take some time to install and then you will get this window. So I, I'm not going to launch it and I'm not going to see the release file. So I'm just going to click on finish. After this, we need to come to where we started and we are going to download and install Heroku for Windows 64 bits. Save, save the file. Give it some time to download. Open the file to install it. So you double click on that to open it. We are going to leave the defaults. Then we click next and install this program in the program files in a folder called Heroku. Then we start the installation process. This is going to take some time. The installation is now complete, so we are going to close this window. The next thing you need to do, you need to go to Heroku, create an account, and then log in. When you log in, you will have a personal space here. Uh, you will not have all the apps that I have here. So, you will have a space, so you need to create a new app create new app. We are going to call this core script. We can leave this to United States. Leave this as default. Then create the app. So after this, we are going to follow these instructions here. 
we have already installed this so the first thing is we need to do is to go to our command prompt cmd you can also use git bash but i like using this eh? so the next thing is you do is to log into heroku heroku login click on any key on your keyboard to continue you're going to get a browser where you now log in and then uh, let's log in and then we are going to go back after we log in we are logged in we are going to go back to our command prompt as you can see i'm logged in so what i need to do is now come to my desktop here and maybe create a folder and call i can give it any names but i'm going to call mine calls open it and take this url here copy url then come here and do cd then paste now we are working inside this folder uh, let's look at the second instruction here the second instruction is we have already cd our project now the next is git init we initialize git so that the the project becomes a git project so git init it has been initialized uh, then we, we are just going to copy this because we want to access the remote calls script that we have created so heroku git remote a call script let's see give it some time set git remote it has been sent to that now the other one is to in case we have anything at the moment we don't have anything if you go to the folder it doesn't have anything it just have git and nothing else what we need to do first we need to come to this folder and create a php file so what i've done I've right clicked and opened a new text docu document then I'm going to rename this to index.php then I'm going to open it so let me start uh. so we're going to start by opening the script stack for PHP and also closing uh, closing the script tag then the first thing that we need to do is put a header that allows cross origin for this to happen we are going to put inside the quotes double quotes we are going to put access hyphen control hyphen allow hyphen origin then we make a colon that's not colon we make a colon and we say all that's the first thing that we need to do uh, we also need to put the credential for this true header header the same thing so inside the quote we say access hyphen control hyphen allow allow hyphen credentials And we set them to true then we need to get a variable in car to make a variable in car i'm going to call it ch a car variable and call it ch then after that we're going to initialize car car underscore init we initialize car then we set option of 
SSL ver verify peer to false. So curl this custom set option into bracket the variable that we have just created ch2 curl option opt underscore ssl underscore verify peer we give this false we give this to false and we close this put columns so then other op we need also need to set curl option to return transfer true so again curl curl set This one is a problem here. It was set, set, set option, not set option. Set option. The variable we created, curl. Curl ch, curl. Opt. Return transfer. Return transfer is true then again curl we set set the option again another option this time the option is curl option url c the variable ch call option url and this is where now we put the url that we want to allow for course origin and then we close our inside here is where we put the url url will be put here so you can actually do a variable here and say and sorry mm, n url equals this so then here instead of putting these quotes we put n url so we will leave it that way from here we just need to get the result and the result will be we will just execute curl and this is the variable that we we created this is the variable that we created then after that we are going to print the result print which is in form of a json result That is all that we need to do and if you remember the url that we are using this is the url we want to try with on whether this is working so we are using this url and if you come here this is what i've put here i have made some changes so let me just do it the way we had done it a little uh, url instead of the way I have done it here we do it the way we reversed it and here we put and you are then if we save this and close this and close this when you are still logged on to our Heroku let's use these commands that Heroku give us to now upload this if you go down here this uh the first thing is to add whatever we have created to get first we need to go to the directory we are working with so let's go here copy this directory and we cd then we paste 
so we are here then we do git add dot then we'll have that huh? the next thing that we need to do is commit the git commit am make it bare to the file has been um, inserted so the last thing that we need to do we need to come here and say sorry git push heroku git push heroku master let's see what it pushes yeah it's pushing so i think now we are done with this process give it a few seconds I, we are done this is the url where we are supposed to access our app from and if you go to heroku here go up well we are still using the directory the the app that we created which is called core script we can just click on open and you see we're able to get the same json as this although it's not as formatted as this this uh, json is now accessible across domain <music> Hello and welcome. I'm assuming you already know how to develop a web app using either Vue.js, React, AngularJS, plain JavaScript or any other uh, JavaScript framework that you like using. So in this video I'm not going to show you all the processes of getting to where we are but uh, if I may just explain a little bit. This is something we are doing in Vue.js lifecycle method called created so this is going to happen immediately the website is created and to demonstrate what you were demonstrating earlier go to terminal new terminal so npm run serve give it some time to start the server now that is complete we can use localhost to access our website so let's see what happens let's now use the url that we developed this is the one that has course so again let's open this and see as you can see the data is displayed without the problem that you are facing of course problem as you know it's a lot of work to make nice videos and if there's no one who is watching them i would prefer to just do the programming in the background as opposed to wasting a lot of time doing videos and no one is interested in them so like comment i would also expect you to turn on the notification bell on the top right side also subscribe so that in case you forget the name of the channel at least you'll go to the channels that you have subscribed to and you will be able to find my channel the name of the channel is better media youtube.com slash better media i'm looking forward to the next presentation